It's the soldier, not the reporter, who has given us the freedom of the press. It's the soldier and not the poet who has given us freedom of speech. It's the soldier and not the organizer who has given us the freedom to demonstrate. And it's the soldier who salutes the flag, who serves beneath the flag, whose coffin is draped by the flag, who allows the protester to burn the flag. You're in the army. When you return, you don't do it for a thank you, and you don't do it to be ignored. My name is Bill Fireside. I served in the United States Army from 1954 to 57. I was stationed ultimately in Korea. I was in the Psychological Warfare Unit. And my assignment was to write stories and do radio broadcasting Honor Flight is a charitable organization, and right now, Honor Flight is honoring veterans, giving them a one-day trip that is burnt into the memory of everybody who goes on it. As we were being loaded onto the buses during my flight, there were two men that all of a sudden recognized one another. Neither one knew that the other would be on that flight, but they came to each other and just embraced. And the story was one man had saved the other man's life in Vietnam, and they hadn't seen each other since then. And it, it was a moment that, that really could bring tears to your eyes, and that these guys rebonded re after all these years. The buses are going to take us into the center of Washington where all the monuments are, the Marine Monument, the Air Force Monument, the Vietnam Wall, the Korean Monument, which is different from any of the others because it shows a squad of soldiers walking through a field. And then we go to the World War II Monument, which is the largest of all. And there is a pillar and a plaque for each state of the Union. And then the ceremonies start. The color guards come in from the different services. We had a three-star three general come out to greet us. We had Miss Washington come out to serenade us. Our flight is to leave Washington at about seven. But over the loudspeaker, somebody yells, mail call. And what is this? All right, so they start calling our names, and each of us is given a big fat envelope with cards and letters in it. We get letters from people who don't know us, school kids executives, every head of every Chicago sports team. As we got off the plane and entered the airport, there were hundreds of people there cheering and yelling. There were troops of Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts, family members. My son and my wife were there in the, the crowd welcoming us home. Sitting back 
and finally accepting all of this that you never had before. I am still flying high from this experience. So this honor flight gives you the, 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 the thank you that you just never had.